Okay, get that music going. Here we go. Yeah, brother. Now if I could just get everything to pop up correctly. Mm, we're killing it. All right, everybody. We're here. We're going. The Wheel of Destiny. This is a new thing. Someone actually came up with this idea. Um, they meant it for a video. Let's see, I'm trying to think of who it was. So they put it... Weezy Hub video ideas. Ryan, Ryan Gosling. Spin the wheel to choose what to play and hunt for within the game. It's not, we're not exactly going hunting. But we are going to go fish for something. Based off of the wheel. The wheel of destiny, don't you know? So, uh, cool. Who's all uh, updates on mobile and con I know. I saw that today. Pretty exciting. For weeks, I've been hearing when is it going to be on mobile and console. Well, I I can tell you finally. Today. It's, it's out today. Good deal, everybody. How's it going? So many comments already. I can't read. Quadic, uh, Cayman, Not There, Carfish and King, Fat Seagull, Cameraman, Dak Force, Taven Sates, Cooper, Dallas Johnson, JP Customs, Costumes, Kai, The Polga, Ethan, Lane, Hebert, Mason, Metcalf, Todd Whalen, Efe, Efe, Bo Outdoors. My goodness. Uh, rang a tan at 3 a.m. <laughs> That's awesome. Andy Smith. Hey, Bo and everyone. Dollar Store. R Ronald. Ronaldo the Goat. Uh, Logan Sam and XD Boys. Douglas. Oh my god, the names keep going. Ghostly Max. Gamer 65. Legendary Fishing. Are you going to have a fishing club? You mean like this fishing club? You betcha. 
Uh, just got the Congo. Jacob Harris, Ty Sizik, Ivan Mujahid, Mujahid, Mujahid. I hope I got that right. Todd, JP, Cadalis. Right on, everybody. Haven't played Fishing Planet in two months. Well, you know, you know, everybody. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, man. Uh, anywho, we are gonna go ahead. Let's uh, let's do this, Mama Jamma. Can I get the right thing here? Let's see. Oh, oh, there we go. The wheel. Behold your eyes. The wheel of destiny. Ooh. It looks like a cheap wheel that you can just get by going to spin the wheel.io. But no, this is a much fancier wheel. One wheel to rule them all here at the BZ Hub. Anywho, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what we're going to be chasing after first. We've got a laundry list of different stuff to go after. So we are going to go and uh, see what we're going to start with. Hopefully it doesn't mean for the rest of the stream because we only got an hour to do it. Ooh, 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 suspenseful suspenseful <gasps> it just it just like moves boom <laughs> to the next one <laughs> we're starting off with unique tarpon everybody can we make it happen that's what we're gonna find out all right let's get what we need to get the unique tarpon then i think we should probably buy probably buy a uh a thing my bob for the everglades there Probably gonna get rid of that thing. Boop boop, a boop boop. Hopefully I have a template put together for the. Yeah, I do. Good deal. Good deal. All right, hopefully that's everything we need. Hopefully we're good after that. Actually, I'm kind of curious. So this is 73, 70.5, 37. So, okay, is there a spinning reel? I'm curious what a spinning reel around that same size would be as far as recovery. So a similar spinning reel that size has five inches, six inches, six and a half inches more recovery per spin. Oh, that's tempting. Tempting, tempting, tempting. Man. Especially with the tarpon moving around as much as they do. Oh, we do have a Torbellino 11,000. <gasps> well, what can we... How can we... Let's let's see. Let's see what we do. What do we have in our rods here? Torbellino 11,000. Where are you? I have so many rods, it's hard to... Okay, so Torbellino 11,000. We actually got three of them. Interesting. Okay, so 70.5 on the reel. What do we got around that? For a rod. Do we even have a rod that's around that? Might just have to buy one. I love how I'm making this way more difficult than it needs to be. Like, there's no reason I have to do any of this, but I'm doing it just for the heck of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm buying this. Okay, so we got this. Now we'll put the Torbellino on here, and we should be good to go. Good deal. Got that. Let's throw some line on here. Oh, this mono is probably going to work just fine. Do we have any uh, fluoro that will work good, dude? 83 pound fluoro. 70.5 pound fluoro. Seventy nine pound fluoro is the strongest we got. Is there any in between that? No, it goes from 70.5 to 79. Good golly. Okay. Well, we're just going to throw that on there. 
And then we'll throw on the black buzz bait like we were using with the tackles too light for the rod. We have any heavier buzz baits. I'm making this way, way more difficult than it needs to be. We, we will still see the wheel. We still see the... Are, you guys don't want to see the wheel anymore? God, you guys are being way specific. Jeez Louise. God. You want to see the game? What's your deal, huh? Can't you just be excited seeing the wheel of destiny? God, come on. Oh, I suppose you want to see me fish too. You guys request so much of me. I thought we would just stare at the wheel all stream long. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that, everybody. Well, uh, okay, so the buzz bait, I'm wondering if it'll even work because uh, we unfortunately have to have... Uh, it's, it's, it's very light. It's only one ounce, and we need two and an eighth ounces for this rod. So we'll use this most likely, but if we can cast far with this, then we'll probably use that too. We'll bring them both out. We'll see what we do. But uh, let's go ahead, go to Blue Crab Island. You guess clubs are not, cl uh, I don't believe they are cross-platform, no. Not cross-platform, the clubs. Ah. I don't know what uh, boat we're using either. Hmm, hmm. We are on the, we're, we're already on the best day for blue, for, uh, for tarpon. So hopefully we get one, man. New here. First time catching a live stream. Well, right on. Glad you made it. I am kind of curious how far we can cast this. Still, we can cast this pretty darn far for all that it was. I'm doing it. Let's give this mamma jamma a cast. Goodness gracious. We pulled it up out of the water. It was going so fast. If this was a Pinewood Derby car, we, we'd be so happy. All right, let's get in the boat. We got tarpon to catch. Vroom, vroom. Look at that bird up there. I, uh... I want to turn down the boat. I need a specific setting just for the boat, please. It's just too loud. What editing software do we use? We use Filmora. Saved up some money to buy the Curado. Just have to find a store that has one. Ooh, okay. Anyway, we could join and play with you? Absolutely. Yeah, we're on a friends only server, so feel free to join in though. Once we catch the unique tarpon, we'll obviously be moving on to a different location. Maybe unless we get the unique, uh, the unique snook, then we might be back here. So my go to unique tarpon spot is this one right here. This is usually my go-to. And if we don't get it in the morning, then we'll switch to the, the evening. Oh. Whoa. Oh, dirty dog. That looked like a bonefish or a permit, though. That don't look like a tarpon. What day is the saltwater update? You know, if I knew, I'd be able to tell you. Come on, fish. Come on, tarpon. 
Fight the lure, Tarpon. This is your first live stream. Oh, close to the mask. Glad you, uh, glad you made it. Glad you made it. Hopefully it's a good one. It's going to be short. It's not as long as the past ones, but you know, we're making do with what we got. What's up, BZ? Love your vid. Muhammad, I appreciate it, man. Glad, glad you're enjoying it or finding it helpful. You're at the Everglades trying for Carpon. Tarpon? You're going for Tarpon too, but at the Everglades, are you? Oh, 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 what are you? Oh, that's it. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, that's a tarpon. That's a big tarpon too. Oh, that's a big tarpon. Come here, big tarpon. Dude, look at these head shakes. This guy's massive. This rod is so agile compared to that darn uh, baitcaster. Dude, this is a massive tarpon. Oh, we lucked out, everybody. And even in, in the morning, too, uh, the past morning that we came out here, we were not this lucky. We had to uh, switch to the evening just to just to get him to come back. Guys, I don't know why we keep asking about the ocean map. I don't know anything. I haven't said anything about the ocean map, so there's no reason to ask. I haven't known when the ocean map update was coming out since the first day I told people about it. So why everyone is now asking me about it, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me about it. And if you see someone ask me about it, feel free to tell them I don't know. Save me the headache, you guys. At the end of the live stream, I just lay down in my bed and I just watch the birds just spin in a circle. Just they just fly in a circle around my noggin as I as I slowly ease out of my crazed mental state of telling people I don't know when things are coming out. I don't work for this game. I don't know anything that no one else, that anyone else doesn't know. Oh my god, he was right there. Come on, come on, come on. Get in the net. This is a big freaking net for this tarpon. Come on. Yes, we did it. On the first freaking fish, bro. I'm telling you. The Wheel of Destiny! The Wheel of Destiny is real! It makes dreams come true! Alright. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. I just like, in that one moment when we were pulling it up, my mind automatically went, what if this is a trophy? And this whole fight was a waste of time. <laughs> so then when I saw that it was a unique, Oh my god. Had a mental freak out for a second. Gotta copy that setup. It is a little higher level setup. Like, this is a level 70 rod. Whereas you can use the rod that's actually made for Blue Crab, uh, which is a baitcaster setup, and you can do the same one. Um, you, you can catch it in no trouble at all. I just wanted to try something new. That'll do, everybody. That'll do 125 on that mad lad. 125. But yeah, these were the two. We got the Sharpcaster 7 foot, Power Grab 7000. It's what we usually use. But the last one I caught had me on such like edge of my seat the entire time I was fighting it. I thought I was going to get a heart attack. So I decided to try something different. I went with the Ag Aguarayo and the Torbellino 11,000. Similar weight, but this rod and reels, you got to be like level 70 or 72 to buy it. So, uh, so this setup is a lot easier because it's around that 54, level 54 or whatever to get it. So, anywho, that's going to do it, everybody. Let's, uh, let's, let's get out of blue. Cr well, first off, we should probably switch, switch to this Mamma Jamma. All right. The Wheel of Destiny has spoken. 
and we will go after the second fish now still have you a good fight as well exactly yeah i did it well and it, and it was the same like weight you know like like a dragon and everything so it makes sense that it was still a decent fight um i just wanted a rod with better recovery i didn't want to lose it basically the wheel you still using max drag nope no such thing as max drag these days well there is but it damages your reel pretty quick anywho here we go spinning yet again the wheel of destiny spirit fingers everyone spirit fingers everyone say it with me spin the wheel oh the unique and trophy arapaima huh okay so i did change this to unique trophy arapaima because getting the unique arapaima can be a little bit of a time dealio so i thought if we can get a unique or a trophy it'll be pretty darn close so anyway i'm not going to forget to uh change the wheel this time so let me go ahead and switch it before i um before i stop staring at the screen for a long time okay so now that we got that fixed Let's go ahead and get our rods and everything switched. I hope you guys aren't saying anything important in the chat because I'm not paying attention. Okay, let's get this going here. I think this setup is actually going to work fine. Now this is really important. What I'm showing you right here with this whole rod setup you want to do the exact same thing I'm doing because if you don't get this correct, I'm telling you, this is honestly like a secret of the game. If you don't get this part of like exactly how I have the rod set up here for all of you to see, that's a, that's a big deal. So I just want to make sure that everyone gets a chance to look at it right now before we move on because um, it's really, really a big tip. And I wouldn't want anyone to miss it. You know what I mean? Anywho, let's go ahead and go to the Amazonian maze now. <laughs> Why you think you think I you think I'm messing around now? Just joking. Just joke. No, we have a we have the same setups we always use. Nothing special here. Nothing special. Let's go get the uh, the Arapaima now. The update should be out this month. What the uh, the uh, the fighting the fighting and net update? You're correct. It is it is out. It's actually out today. So now you can uh, go do it. Go go play. Um, we are. I'm gonna switch to a friends only room and then just just go out there and catch one I do believe let's see here I think I'm gonna change these as the 10 aught hooks 10 aught hooks might even throw a 12 aught on one of them just for funsies just for funsies oh you know what I'm gonna throw it on two of them Cause I'm living on the edge like that. All right. Now we'll go get in the boat. Hundred and two pound unique black drop. Nice. Nice. Very cool. Get in the old boat here. Y'all ever caught an elder gar? You know the only um. The only monster fish we haven't caught is the uh, mighty Man manga, manga, um, that's in the uh, Congo River. Every other monster fish we've caught, and we have videos about them during the uh, Halloween extravaganzas. We gotta take this secret pass over here. Now I don't want everyone to get jealous as I go through here, but I am kind of well known for my exquisite boat driving skills and that I never hit anything when driving a boat. 
So you can trust me with your boat in real life anytime and let it be known that I will leave it in pristine condition. I'm trying to remember what time we need to be fishing for these Arapaima, though. There's the church. Or the fishing planet gods. Everyone say a little prayer to the fishing planet gods so we can get our hands on a trophy or unique Arapaima pretty quickly. 42 pound unique spotted gar. Really? I didn't even know they got that. Just got your first mod. Oh, stick. We went through that stick. Another example of how I would leave your real life boat in pristine condition. All right, here we go. This is where we're going to be doing our Arapaima fishing. There we go. Okie dokie. Artichokey. Let's figure out here. So, I'm thinking nighttime. I think we can fish for these pretty easily at nighttime. Let's give it a go. I am just going to toss out. Make sure we don't have max drag on these guys. Flow rods can work pretty well sometimes too. Um, I'm just going to throw bottom rods out. Especially in this shallow water, it's only five feet deep or less than. I'm not sure if it would matter all that much. But we're just gonna toss them out here and hope for the best. Two 12 odd hooks, one 10 odd hook. Hopefully, you can get a trophy or unique pretty quickly. But we will find out, everybody. Would have to be like 200 years old. <laughs> In the wise words of Papa Jimmy, don't drive a boat, you con a boat. Oh my God. My first monster was the musky golem. I just caught the gourmet bass. Very nice. Ooh, 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 fish on, fish on. Well, that didn't take long at all. Well, he's putting up a fight. That's for sure. That's for darn sure. I didn't really get to see how big he was. Ooh, he's pretty big, actually. We just get another trophy or unique with the first first fish again. Pulling us out to 140 now. That's a pretty good size fish, dude. Pretty good size fish. JK, it was 19 pounds. <gasps> The electric eels are out too. Do you see the shocks over there? I'm zooming in to see if we can see them again. Dude, that's a pretty good sized fish. That is a good size air pima right there, folks. You can't hear the game audio. Probably because I turned down the environment so much from the. Uh, Yeah, the, the boat volume and the environment volume are controlled on the same setting. So it's, it's annoying. Oh, Florida Gar, eh? You're going to the lake for the third weekend. Very nice. We have both other rods going off right now, but I am like transfixed on this rod. What monitor do you use? Um, it's a Predator. Is that a MSI? I can't remember. I'm just looking. I'm looking at the bottom of my monitor. It says Predator. It's a uh, 4K, 240 hertz monitor. It's like... Uh, 3840 by 2660 or whatever the 4K resolution is. 
But my graphics card isn't good enough to run games at that fast and that quality, so uh, I just play in uh, I just play in 2K all the time. 2560 by 1440. Got him below 100. Don't want to speak too soon because he's gonna pull us beyond 100 again. Goodness. He continually gets us so close to not having any tension at all. You can see those electric shocks way back there. Oh, he's got us out to 130 again. Not 140 though. No, no. Uni Eel incoming. Thank you, IDK. If this was you right now my grandpa would be telling me to keep the rod up even if i have a race <laughs> raised up to the sky i hear you it's a it's a standard it's a standard thing you direct people just trying to help you just got here what did you miss yes you missed an uni tarpon we started it off with a unique tarpon now we're chasing after a trophy or a unique Arapaima before we bring up the Wheel of Destiny again and see where we're heading off for the third fish. Dude, this guy's putting up a freaking fight and a half. He's almost taking us out to 150 again for the third time. Dude, this is a Congo rod, too. He's putting up a... Dude, <laughs> if we got a unique on our first try, that would be wild. No. Oh, low tension. Hoping to join at the next spot. Good idea. Popped out of nowhere and it scared the crap out of you. Is it a spooky ad? Yeah, we had him below 70 for a second there. Ooh, about to be below 60. Let's go. You're up to, oh, up to the lake that's like emerald to catch some walleye. Nice. Todd's hate taken out. Take, taken off, I think I meant to say. Dude, no, he's out to 90 again. Come on, give up on life. Give up on life. Dude, come on. Dude, for the headache that this guy's given us, he better be unique. Okay, back in the 60s, now back into the 70s again. Goodness gracious, dude. Sub 60? Oh my god, the tension. We lose this guy due to tension in the last freaking 40 feet. And I'll lose it. Come on, dude. Dude, he's so big. He's so big. In the 20s, back in the 30s. Can you imagine if, uh, like, NFL... If, uh, like, the announcers on NFL games just spoke like this all the time? He's at the 30. He's at the 20. I hope he's back to the 30. Now he's back out to 100. My God, this is the weirdest football game I've ever announced at. Oh, we've got him down to sub 90 yard line. Now he's, he's back out to 95. Interesting. He's on the opposite 30. Now he's on the positive 40. It'll be a weird game. So we had him in the 20s and now he's back out to 115. Good golly, dude. This better be a leaderboard Arapaima, is all I'm saying. We are using a Congo rod. 
and this Arapaima is just laughing at us like it's a joke. Okay, this better be the retrieve. That gets him down to zero, boys. What is the wheel thing today? Well, once I get this guy in, you all see. And he comes out to 95 pounds. It, it must be. It must be absolutely massive. So the last unique Arapaima I remember catching was for that River Monsters episode. And I don't remember fighting them with them this much. That was before the uh, fish fighting thing came out, though. Come on, come on, come on. Under 90. Almost under 80. We're sub 80 now. Sub 70. Come on. Sub 60, sub 50. Sub 40. Come on. Come on, you. You beast. This is, I'm like Captain Ahab. This is my Moby Dick. My Moby Arapaima. Come on. Get, get in the net. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my God. Let's go, bro. It, it's so big. I can't even fit it in my freaking net, dude. 345 pounds. 345.586 23,360 XP and 41,913 dollars that we can't even keep oh my god dude look at this fish <laughs> oh it makes our boat look small that is wild that is a freaking toad. It's it's beyond toad. It's beyond toad up to a freaking like iguana or gator. Oh my god, dude. That's ridiculous. What is the what is the I don't know what the record is. But that was a fight and a half. Oh my goodness gracious. I think that was the longest fight I've ever had with a fish and fishing planet to and actually got the fish i've had longer fish that i've lost but i think this was the longest fight i've ever had with a fish that i actually ended up getting in that is crazy dude huh okay well cool well i said unique or trophy air Pima and we got him we uh we managed it it's a top notch well let's go ahead and we'll release this guy See if it's the record Arapaima, I know. We need to see. I doubt it is. That was 345 point something. I hope I clicked on friends instead of. Arapaima. See, they go up to 392. I'm not even gonna make the top 100. 356 is the bottom of the 100. Man, oh my, dude. That's crazy. The Arapaima get massive. Almost 400 pounds. Oh, I made I made the wrong decision. I clicked on it. Shouldn't have clicked on it. Go away. <laughs> oh, golly. Okay, well, top notch. We got it. Unique Tarpon down. Unique Arapaima down. Let's go back to the Wheel of Destiny. See what we're going after next. Ooh. Wheel of Destiny says unique mirror carp is up next. Okay, top notch. This is gonna be an easy one. An easy one, I say. I'm not even gonna bring all of my rods with me. I'm gonna throw. Well, shoot. I have to go back to the. I have to go back to the main map real quick. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. 
here i'll actually do you guys a favor and actually go back to the live stream instead of making you uh stare at the wheel for uh for 10 minutes okay we're gonna throw this one back in the home inventory i'm gonna throw my number four rod back in the home inventory and i'm just gonna take two carp rods with me luckily i set up my carp rods to be the exact same um so i just have one carp rod that i bring for <laughs> for everything so i have like three different carp rods but they're all this same setup so i can i can make them all super fast um let's see i want to make sure we have what we need carp rival big riverine bremer you can trash this i guess we can buy some more just just so we have some not that we need it but you know Big Riverine Bremer. Someone actually told me the other day that you couldn't make this mix anymore. So this is a good, a good example to uh, make it again. That way, uh, I guess if they're watching this in the future, they can uh, see that you can indeed make it again. All right, let's go. Oversized carping? Nope. Just unique mirror carping. It's all we gotta catch. Just caught a seven pound trophy largemouth bass. Nice. Cost. Thanks for the sub there. All right. Friends only, Rube. Let's go. I don't think I have one, Ice Noob. Weeping Willow. Woot woot. Update 5.73 G's. 5.73 G's. Doing some bassing. Doing some bass fishing at Weeping Willows. Just joking. Just joking. Haven't played for a while. Has the update come to console? It has indeed, yeah. The fish fight and netting with clubs update has come to console. To uh, maximize... Well, shoot. Let me look. I guess this is the day. Boy, if you're wanting to fish for uh, Weeping Willow's carp, and you're doing like free to play it's looking like this is pretty good actually pretty good day to be doing it got like four sunny days in a row or uh well four out of five sunny days i'll say okay let's make our mix real quick i, mean, I love how i'm gonna have to make an entire mix just for uh just for one fish but who knows who knows how long it'll be before we catch one watch it be our first fish okay Go fishing, spod rod. Spod rod needs actual spod mix to throw out there. Let's get it. 16 minutes to update. <laughs> you have slow internet. You have slow internet. Just kidding. Just joking. How's my day, Toast Place? Ah, oh, this is going pretty well. Thanks for asking, Toast. How about how's your day? Jaden Crocker, well, yeah, same thing, same thing. What's up? I'm playing Fishing Planet. What's up with you? Is that the update you got today? Most likely. How the new mechanics? I mean, new mechanics are great. They're they're fixing my car pretty nicely these days. So uh yeah, can't argue with that. Can't argue with the results, you know what I mean? Walleye here get big. 24 inch walleye is huge. Or pretty big. I tell you what, I spent uh, two days at Lake Erie and um, I just like uh, my view of walleye is changed for the rest of my life. I'll never view walleye the same. Um, because like we went fishing and uh, over the two days, each of us could keep 12 walleye. So each of us kept 12 walleye. And I think between the two of us, we each, like we probably released 12 walleye. 
you know? Um, or more. 12 to 15 walleye we released. But each of the walleye that we released were 24 to 26 plus inches. Um, we, we also released a 10 and a half pound walleye. Like that was the biggest one of our two day trip. Um, it's just crazy. We, we caught so many walleye over those two days. It was ridiculous. PB walleye was 31 inches. Very nice, dude. What fish are we fishing for? We're fishing. Well, we're, we're specifically fishing for a mirror carp, but uh, but we're most likely gonna catch others while we're doing it. I'm just gonna throw these out while we're. Should be good. We should have enough spot out there to get us going. Do you play Red Dead? I, uh, we have a few videos out that were on Red Dead. People weren't really watching it too much, so we kind of stopped doing it. But, um, but yeah, we, uh, we started that a while back last year. I think it was, uh, what was it? Red Dead Reptember or something like that. For the month of, uh, September, we, like, played Red Dead Redemption. But, uh, not enough people, not enough people watch the videos. I, and I have a number of different playlists like that where we started something but not enough people watched it so we just stopped making it basically Cody's here has some nice fishing in it I I have heard I have heard of this sort of thing yeah sounds fun never gone walleye fishing since you're in Florida I get it Makes sense. You got a lot of cool fish in Florida, though. The fastest gunslinger in the West. <laughs> oh, golly. You've never caught a carp in the game? Oh, man. Pretty fun. Even if you uh, happen to uh, throw your spawn over your rods every single time you do... Uh, you do a cast. Still pretty fun. Amazing for walleye. How many unicorns do you think we're going to catch this stream? Oh. Hard to say. We're already at two. I assume we'll get a few more with this. Do you know what graphics card you have? Yeah, just a second. Oh, I have an NVIDIA GTX 1080, which is a slightly older card, but it's still a pretty good card. You left farming sim 22 months ago to come to Fishing Planet? Ooh. All right. I think I've done enough spotting. Now I just need a bite. You spend $70 on this stream, not for levels, though? Well, goodness. Here in New Zealand, our best fish are probably rainbow trout, brown trout, many type salmon. Yeah, I agree. The rainbow trout in New Zealand are crazy, man. Ooh, starting it off with a little ghosty. Little ghosty. Come here, little ghosty. 12 pound ghosty. I'm gonna recast that. I don't like that one. Don't know where a good spot is or a good bait to use. Right here with this bait. I know, it's our first time we've caught our first fish and it hasn't been a unique. Did you come to New Zealand? If so, where'd you fish? I, have I haven't been to New Zealand. I really want to go. It's on my uh, bucket list, but it's also on my uh, 
post kids bucket list. My, my wife and I have a uh, list of places we want to go to both before kids and after kids. And New Zealand is on the list of after kids because it's a, it's a fairly safe place to visit. So is Japan. So it's just, you know, somewhere like the Amazonian rainforest just isn't the safest place for kids. So we're going to hit that place up before kids. Same with like Antarctica and stuff like that. We're having to be very patient for this unique. Maybe I should have taken the third rod. I didn't think we'd need it. 100% chance the next fish will be a newie. Golly, I hope so. This is very slow. Why do I keep overcasting this? Still runs well after all these years. Very true. I, uh, I think I bought my 1080 in like 2018 or something like that. So it's been running pretty good for like five years. There we go. There's a bite. Ooh. It looks like a leather. I think it's a trophy leather. Goodness, come on. What map are you on? What map are we on? It's the only map that looks like this. It's weeping willows, of course. Look at all the willow trees. Can't you tell they're crying? They're weeping their freaking tree limbs off. Level 49, the sturgeon kind sucked. <laughs> well, I mean, there's only one place that you've unlocked at uh, level 48, eh? You better, you better go off there and give it a try. Nah, bro, head to, head to Lone Star. Obviously at level 49, it's time to go to Lone Star and catch the spotted bass. I feel sneezed. Aha. Saved you all a sneeze in the microphone. Sunny Kent in the UK. Let's go. <laughs> Everyone knows the UK is sunny times. It's always sunny. The UK never gets any bad weather. No rain, no snow. Always sunny. Is the update on Xbox yet? It is indeed. Why is it so slow? Why are you so slow? Just give us a unique already. Here's a fish. Here's a fish. Of all the fish that we could have got a unique on first, we have a freaking mirror carp on. We've had the ghost carp. We've had a small, uh, we've had the trophy leather, I suppose. But our first big fish we catch looks to be the mirror carp, everybody. Our target species. Here in Christchurch, New Zealand, we get a mix of sun and rain. It can change real fast, but it never snows. Oh, okay. So cold here and rainy at the moment, Scotland. You know, it rained all day for us. It finally stopped at like 3 p.m. No! No! Finally, what I figured was gonna be our first unique and it's a friggin' trophy. Why'd you fight so much if you were just a trophy, huh? Friggin' fish. You hate that rock, I've broken rods there. What? At least you're getting money. Yeah, at least we're getting money. We don't we don't want to go broke in this game. 
what ocean map would we want after the first one releases? So the first ocean map looks to be like um, a Polynesian sort of northern Australia um, up in that area. So a lot of uh, cool tuna and marlin and um, I don't know, some some cool uh, jacks and stuff, I guess. I'm not really sure. Some sharks as well. Um, I'm not really sure what I'd want after that, man. It looks like it's going to have a, a heck of a species list. You know, all the all the saltwater species you could ever want for a saltwater location, this place is going to have. So uh, it's hard to, like, picture. Here's another mirror carp. Oh, come on, dude. This is wild. This is wild. Some GTs. Yeah, there you go. I couldn't think of the word. I knew it was part of the Jack family. These tarpon aren't biting any tips. We have a video about catching tarpon in the Everglades. Otherwise, my dad caught a uh, tarpon in the Everglades when we were uh, shooting a little short video. And I'm hoping I can have that edited now tomorrow, so if anything, you can watch that too. I can't remember off the top of my head. I think we just threw shiners out there on a bobber. 78 to 80. Blue crab is brackish. Brackish is water. Is water where both fresh and saltwater fish can live. There we go. Throwing out facts. All time favorite fish to catch? Mmm. All time favorite fish to catch. It's gonna. I don't. I, I do love fishing for carp. Do love fishing for carp. But genuinely, one of my most favorite fish that I've caught, if you can find a good area for them, like the, where we fished in Texas, the alligator gar is truly a super fun fish. It's a fish that, like, a small one weighs like 20, 20 pounds plus. Like, and then they obviously can get up to like 200, 300 pounds. I'm sure they go over over 300 pounds. Legendary fishing probably knows how big they get, but dude, I like they jump out of the water. They pull you like a freight train. They'll just pull you all over the place. They're honestly like they. I don't know. I haven't fished a lot of coastal fish like tarpon and stuff like that. But uh, off the top of my head, if someone was to ask me. What do I think is the most fun fish to fish for in the United States? I'd probably just tell them alligator gar. It, it is truly, if you get into an area that's below a dam or whatever, like there are hundreds, hundreds of them swimming around, just cast after cast of catching these guys, and they're all massive. By by other standards of fish, these fish are, are humongous. Um, and they get they get even bigger, you know what I mean? So we have a grass carp on this rod, and we have another rod going off now, and I kind of want to see because we are going after a mirror carp. This looks this looks like a leather. So neither of them are the mirror we're going for, unfortunately. These are not the carp we're looking for. Oh, and we just lost the grass carp, so I guess we'll stick with the leather now. Largest unconfirmed is 327. Yeah. Massive, dude. If I can see how it is, sure. Once we get this guy closer, I'll use it. He would just give up on... No, I hate this. Don't do that. I hate that. They honestly just need to take that out of the game. I'm so sick of that. So sick of the clicking. 
I'm sure they have it in the game for like controllers or something like that, but just no use for it. Just hit shift, shift one, shift two, shift three. I don't need to click. So it kind of just puts the net down and then you use the rod to pull the fish into the net is how it works. When I did it right there, it looked like the guy just kind of like threw the net underneath it and got it real easy. But there are times where you, you, they'll put the net down and then you're just like, get in the net. You know, you're kind of freaking out. Um, it's not always as simple as it looks, but the whole netting animation is supposed to be more fun than stressful. Like uh, if you start the netting animation, I'm yet to have a fish break the animation, I guess. So, um, basically if you start the netting animation, you're going to, you're going to net that fish. Here's a common. You love smallmouth fishing? I dig it. Dig it, bro. Missed it because of an ad. Yeah, I got you, bro. There's a unique common car. Sorry, I'm kind of just pulling these fish in. I'm still waiting for that unique mirror to come out. We got four minutes. Four minutes for a unique mirror. The one fish I thought would be the easiest of all of them. And it's taken forever. So far, we've only caught two uniques of the of the carp. So, and we did have that one mirror, or not mirror, uh, grass carp. We missed out on the one unique grass carp. That means the unique ghosty and the unique mirror are still in here. Crushing it, it's coming. Yeah, boy. No trouble, Dirk. I got you. 28 pound tarpon on a glow in the dark shad. A glow in the dark shad. Right on, man. Three minutes. Three minutes to go. We got lots of nibbles. Lots of nibbles, but no bite. By the way, by the way, plug in, plug in. Everyone, everyone see the latest MDO episode? Lake Sturgeon fishing the Wisconsin Dells. <gasps> you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. Some say it's the best MDO vlog out yet. Who am I to judge? You know, people have their favorites. <gasps> we have a fish on. Let's go. Oh, it's a grass carp again. Wasn't what I was hoping for. Have I ever been grouper fishing? I have not. The one fishing trip I went on where we were supposed to go after group and, uh, grouper and tarpon, the, um, the waves in Florida got to like six feet swells. And so it was just so dang wavy that the uh, captain of the boat that was supposed to take us out couldn't take his boat out in those waves. So uh, we had to change plans and stay inshore fishing. Here we go, Dirk. Get him in the net there. Got him. And we got a little unique grass carp. Top notch. We've got the unique common, the unique, right? The unique common, the unique leather, and the unique grass. We still have the mirror. 
and the ghosty out there. Did you just go to the Dallas for fishing or did you go to any water parks? No, we just went for fishing. No water parks. You love sturgeon. Oh yeah, Sadie Snail. It's a good one. How's it going? What are you after today? So we went after the unique tarpon. We went after uh, unique arapaima. And then uh, after both of those, we got a unique mirror carp, which I figured would be the easiest of all three of them. But unfortunately, it's it's so far being the, the hardest one. This is your first time in your stream and you love the vids. Hey, right on limit. Appreciate it, man. You showed up right at the end of the live stream, but I'm, uh, I'm tempted to give it another five, 10 minutes. And show us the spot we're fishing by this rock over here. We have lots of videos fishing here, so you can easily find this, this fishing spot. I'm trying to think of the best way to show you. We spawned in at this point at Weeping Willows. And then you, uh, it's just the little peg that's closest to this bridge over here. A rock over there, a lamp, bridge, peg. How often do you stream? In every video I say we stream 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central every Monday and Wednesday. Now a red drum, boy, we can't even catch a mirror carp. Given this four more minutes till 9:35 my time. I probably shouldn't even give it that much time. I should probably move spots, but I don't want to. We've already caught three of the five uniques here. We're narrowed down almost as much as we can be for the for the unique mirror. It was it was pretty crazy, Velocicoaster. I I saw I saw that limit. Yeah. Right on, David. Every mirror is unique. I agree, every mirror is unique. There, I posted the link in the chat, but I'll also post it in the description at the end of the live stream too. This is driving me bonkers. Three out of five uniques we've caught. Just a ghosty and a mirror is all we need. Well, I'm just spotting, just spotting so much as, as, as much as I can. MDO vid. Yeah. If, to anyone who doesn't know the 85 people watching the MDO is our like in real life outdoors, the uh, channel or whatever. We used to post outdoor videos on the BZ hub and the playlist name was the modern day outdoorsman. And so after we put out so many videos on that playlist and so many people watched them, we finally just decided to make an entire channel so that people who enjoyed the fishing and hunting videos and stuff like that weren't thrown off by all the video game videos we posted all the time. Because, <laughs> like, we're like 90% video game videos and like 10% outdoor videos. So, so yeah. So if you, if you enjoy, enjoy, if you enjoy doing outdoor stuff, you should follow the MDO. 
You finally made it to a live stream. Right on, Micah. What place would you recommend for the Congo River? Just anywhere near the waterfall. Can't go wrong. Oh, God. We're down to the last minute. Why do you use barbel Sooks? Extra XP, man. I do enjoy that. Thanks, Hell Knives. <laughs> I feel like a weird version of, uh, of, uh, Mike Tyson. Me and Mike Tyson could get along fine. He could do his, uh, lisp thing and I could, I could, uh, change all the J's to D's. Hey, Mike, I enjoyed watching you go out there and knock people out. One shot pro, one shot higher EP. Almost a 60K, I know, man. Oh, as much as it pains me, everyone. I don't know how we didn't manage to catch the unique uh, mirror carp. Um, after we caught the unique tarpon and the unique arapaima so quickly. It was just crazy. I think the fishing planet gods must have just been like, hey, I gave you the tarpon in the, uh, in the arapaima like that what more do you want from me you actually wanted a unique mirror carp something you've caught hundreds of times before that might be a little bit of an exaggeration but not by much <sighs> what can he do anywho everyone this has been a fun little live stream we'll catch you on monday we might do a little poll to see where we want to go um because i don't know what games people want i assume if i do a poll people are going to say fishing planet I'm also extending this outro because I'm waiting to see if it gives me another bite, but it isn't really working. Oh, not a big deal. We all knew what you were talking about, Legendary. Anywho, I guess I'll just have to end the live stream. Boy, it wouldn't be cool if I got a bite right towards the end here. So I guess I'll end it in three, two, one, half, quarter. Yeah, we're not going to get a bite. Anyway, take care, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye. Planet One Family. Game on.